okay in the last video I was looking at this map here the boost limiter and I said the next thing we need to do is to look at a single value boost limit and a single value boost limit is fairly easy to find in an ED16 in an EDC15 you sometimes need a little number to use as your guide and then you can put that number into the search section go and search for that number and right next door to it you will find usually the limit that you're looking for now with EDC 16s there's often another clue and you don't have to do any silly searching of numbers um, the, the thing that you're looking for is actually part of in some respects the boost limiting map it's right down here at the end of the boost limiting map there's a little section here that we're not using as part of this map and then there's usually something right down in that far end the last value just there right at the end there you almost can't see it if I zoom this so if I say view and I zoom let's see if that will Ooh, I can see it there but again maybe if you're not familiar with this you won't so let's try and see if we can get one more see if that will help you might just be able to see it at the moment that last bit there is flat and then it's got a tiny little spike right there on the very end now I am actually getting a little pop-up telling me the cursor values but I don't think they show up on the video so you probably can't see them but that line there I'm getting a little pop-up and it's saying to me 2250 but if I go to that spike there that tiny little spike it says 2350 so I'm just going to put the view back to normal again because I don't want to forget to do it and then wonder where I'd got to before so let's unzoom that back to where I was now the simplest thing to do is having found roughly where I think I am I'll leave that cursor in the place where I think I need to look and I'll go to text view oh I've hit the jackpot straight away if you look at these numbers we've got a range of different numbers and this row here is going 2250, 2250, 2250, 2250, 2250 so there's the flat bit of the graph I was just looking at and right on the end it says 2350 that's the little spike and that's our single value boost limit it's as simple as that it's the last little number on the end there now what I always do is my method of selecting here I could go up to selection select cell but if you look it says insert so what I normally do at this stage is I just leave that there and, and something I always do first is I press delete which means that if there's anything else I've accidentally left selected that will be unselected so I get into the habit I just press delete then I press insert which is right next to it and it becomes highlighted and then I press K so I go delete insert K and there we are I've got hardly what you'd call a map but you know what I mean now you've got that little value there I'll double click on it and it comes up and says map and I'll put single value boost limit SVBL and I will just put on it here in words oh, single value boost limit I could have put that in that box and that that box wouldn't make any difference it's measured in many bar because obviously that's just a personal choice of what I call these things now again if I was doing this for the first time and I think I did mention this on the EDC 15s I would be tempted to open the comment box and put a comment in here as to how I found it or what I did or why it's there and so on just to make life easier when I'm looking for things in future and I can't quite remember what I've done right now one final word to mention about this if I just get rid of that and say okay so okay so we've got that there it is over there occasionally when you go through these you get to the end and there's nothing there in other words this might go 
2250, 2250, 2250, 2250, 2250, 2250. There's no little spike on the end. And if that happens, it simply means there is not going to be a single value boost limit. So there isn't one there. So the file will not be using that sudden boost spike to cut boost completely because it hasn't got one. So if you cannot, absolutely cannot find one, don't panic because it may well be there isn't one. Right, I'm just going to press delete again to get rid of that highlight. It's gone yellow as usual. So that's your single value boost limit. And I'll stop there.